Hi. Cookie? Whoa, seriously? My girlfriend just got deported. Here. A lack of serotonin has been linked to depression. You had time to make cookies? They are lesbian gratitude cookies. What? Yeah, well, I mean, that's what they called them. Remember my patients who had the cancer that turned out not to be cancer? Mm -hmm. Lesbian gratitude cookies are delicious. I think I can say that, but I'm not so sure about you. Hi. Hey, Cookie. Um, one of my patients just went into labor. If I don't make it back, you got this. You're magic. GABA, an amino acid neurotransmitter, helps reduce anxiety. Cookie. Don't mind if I do. And endorphins create a heightened state of happiness. What? What are you doing here? You're supposed to be rounding. The future of medicine is in this room. Yeah, that's why the grown-ups get first dibs on the seats here. Come on, let's go. I'm going to. Hey, Cookie. Oh, no, I can't eat when I'm nervous. I'll throw up, but thank you. Like the kind we feel when we win. Good morning. Welcome to Grace Sloan Surgical Innovation Prototypes Day. Today, we will see presentations of the 25 proposals that were chosen in round one. Five will be selected to move on to the contest's final phase and receive a $1 million grant to further their groundbreaking research. Good luck to all of today's presenters. And we will begin with Dr. Richard Weber. You're on deck. Hey, want some cookies? Sure, thanks. Thank you. Let's begin. When you apply the path pin to tissue, it rapidly identifies whether a cell is healthy or cancerous. So you're showing us a mock-up? No, no, it's functional. I mean, it's still in the testing stage, but uh, at this point, approximately 80% of all tumor types we sampled are in the database, and we hope for 100% in the next few months. Wow. The pen uses that a is drug. impressive. Impressive. It's like a drug sniffing dog for cancer. We're screwed. Shh. Our idea is good too. Mass spectrometer, which compares biomarkers from the tissue with those of the cancer cells in the database. The device. Hey, Peggy, Dana, what's going on? Are you okay? Is the baby okay? No, no, we're fine. Rose is fine. It's the cookies. I'm sorry, you paged me 911. We're so sorry. We need the cookies back. We're so sorry. It was an accident. Do you still have them? Please say that you still have them. The cookies. All of the cookies. Current procedures use a portion of the small intestine, but the result can still have some practical limitations due to its ability to secrete fluid. Peritoneal tissue is a good choice for reconstruction. Hi. Now, let's look at some um, slides. Could you, um, just that cookie tune up there? Could you go get those cookies from me? I'm a little, I'm a little wobbly. I can't. I'm not going out there. Go eat the cafeteria cookies from the green room. <laughs> okay. Dr. <clears throat> My patient accidentally used peanut butter cannabis. The wife had got her when she was going through chemo. One thing led to another, and um, I seem to have given a lot of people weed cookies um, with an unknown, an unmeasurable amount of She came to us with the idea to use this for gender Who had the cookies? Who did it? Hey, we can make a better vagina. You know, I might go back. That sounds, uh, that sounds wrong. Vaginas are terrific the way they are, honestly. I love them, you know. Um, I came from one, so. Th this one, hers, actually. <laughs> hey, Ma. That's not what the script says. What do we do? What do we do? What? Oh, my. Yeah. Two unforeseen circumstances. We are postponing the remainder of today's presentation. Please raise your hand if you ate any cookies from this tin. Unfortunately, the cookies in this tin were tainted with rat poison. So we need to treat those of you who have ingested them. As soon as possible, please 